Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my skincare routine. I've been getting so many requests to do that online and in real life, so I'm finally gonna show you guys what my routine is when I do it all the way. So I'll tell you when I cut corners too. Don't worry, I'm gonna keep it real. So um, yeah, this is what I do in the mornings. And before I get started, I just wanna say that there is this absurd amount of noise outside and I don't understand it. It sounds like a garbage truck. It's been making this noise for two hours already. So I was like, you know what? I plan on shooting this video. I'm gonna shoot it no matter what. Hopefully you guys can't hear it. <laughs> but if you do, I, I just, I'm over it. I don't know what to do. But let's get started. So I already cleansed my face and I brought a sample of my cleanser. I didn't bring the full size. So this is by Belief and it is their creamy cleansing foam moist and i love this because it is one of those cleansers that does not leave me with a tight feeling after i cleanse so that is always a good look that's what i look for and yeah i just love it so i cleanse with that um i think in the mornings i could even go for something a little bit lighter but i really really like that especially when i'm taking off my makeup i know this is a morning routine but at night i do really like it so i've already done that and then I go in with a toner. And the one that I've been using is this one right here. It's called Lotion P50, and it's by, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, <laughs> Biologique Recherche, okay? I, if I butchered it, I'm sorry, my French people, I'm sorry, but <laughs> that is the name. And this thing, my God, I love it. Okay, I love things where I can like feel a little bit of a sting, a little bit of a burn. I'm not overly sensitive. They have different versions of this, but this is the original formula. So they have one with for sensitive skin, and this one is just like for people like me. So um, yeah, this thing is an exfoliating toner. So it helps to get rid of dead skin and just setting everything up so that the products that you put on after can penetrate the skin even better. So it smells a little bit strong, which I love. It has like a, a little bit of a interesting scent. A lot of people think it smells like uh, garbage water. I don't think it smells like garbage water. I mean, I wish garbage water smelled like this because I think it's supposed to smell a lot worse. But in any case, it does have an interesting scent. So I'll warn you now, but it's so worth it because you can like feel it working and that's what I love. So um, I have my little cotton pads. These are the Shiseido cotton pads. They are so soft, okay? I refuse <laughs> to not use these. And this, the place where I ordered this from, it's called, I think it's like Shop Rescue Spa. That's the website. And they sell cotton rounds that they feel are really good to pair with this because it has a little bit of a texture. So if you want a little extra exfoliation, you can use a different type of cotton pad. But this is super soft. So this is good for like any toner that you're using, especially if you want to be super gentle. So I'm just going to take this. And that was actually a lot. You don't need that much. But um, so I take it on my little cotton pad and then I've seen different techniques. I used to be a swiper, but then I was watching a YouTube video where I saw, I've actually seen a couple of videos where people actually press the toner into their skin. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And I like to start around my, like my mouth area because I have really fine, like you can't really see, I only see them when I'm doing like close up lip videos in HD but you can barely see it but yeah i'm just pressing i'm going around and again if you like left anything on your skin when you cleansed because i i do have a clarisonic but i still cleanse with my fingertips i don't really use tools so um yeah this will like also do that it'll help get rid of like the little bit of stuff that you may have left over from makeup or dirt or the pollution anything that you may have missed so I just press all over and it still has product left over and then I go on my neck and I just go up up 
to lift or at least fake lift <laughs> and yeah it also helps with the neck because you know that's an area that we often neglect but you know I don't want a snatched face and then a wrinkly neck like I want it to wrinkle at the same time so yeah so you can see that it's like a little bit nasty but that's good because now I feel like you know I'm getting my money's worth <laughs> I always make sure like go around my nose and the last ones because I feel like things are always hiding in those in those little crevices after you let that hang out on the skin what I like to follow with is a serum so I've been using vitamin C this is a powerful ingredient it not only helps with fighting wrinkles it also helps with brightening the skin so if you have any like dark spots dark patches this really helps I love that so the I've let the toner do its thing for over a minute so now I am ready to apply the serum so I just take just two pumps and it has like an amber color which is what you're looking for and so then I just work that all over my face again I'm always like <laughs> around the laugh lines because that's the really where I'm noticing that I'm starting to get some creases and yeah, what I really, I have typically, I should have said this in the beginning, I have dry skin. Normal to dry, drier right now at this time of year because it's the winter. And I am really looking for moisture and I'm looking to get rid of dead skin. And then if I can get a little help with fine lines, that's a nice bonus. So that's what I'm looking for in my skincare. And even though I have dry skin, I also think like a lot of people when they see my skin, they're like, oh my gosh, your skin is so flawless. I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you guys what people tell me. And really, most of it is genetics. My parents have really flawless skin, so I inherited that from them. So I'm really grateful for that. But again, like every now and then, I'll get a hormonal breakout. Um, I've experienced dryness. I can get to the point where I can like see flakes so um, you know I've been really really hardcore about moisture so I will show you guys what I use because I do really really love the, that product that's like my one thing I can forget to put on toner I can skip the serum but I will always 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 use moisturizer because my skin asks it like begs for it so um, that's one thing I don't skip so um, that is done so you have to let vitamin C chill like you gotta go do something you gotta go for a walk you gotta drink some water and whatever you need to do <laughs> and then you go back and you do the next step now it's time for moisturizer and this is my holy grail it is by belief and it's the true uh, I can this is what I'm saying. I don't know names anymore. I remember when I first started YouTube, I used to be so hardcore about the names of products. And back then, MAC was like the biggest thing. And I always knew about the collections before they came out. I knew the names of all the eyeshadows, all the lipsticks. And I would go to the MAC store and ask about certain products. And the people working there would be like, what are you talking about? Like. I knew more than the people working there and now I don't remember anything but yes this is my holy grail <laughs> it is the true cream moisturizing balm and I get this at Sephora it is ugh, just thick amazingness and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin but it just gives me instant relief when I'm feeling dry so I use it every day I love this um, so yeah, I just, I'm slathering it on right now. Probably shouldn't use so much because I'm going to put on some makeup after this video. But uh, it just, it feels so good. And to me, I don't even feel like I need a primer after I use this because it just gives me such a great amount of slip under foundation. So it just glides right on. So I love, love, love that. It's just, oh, it feels so good. And then for eye cream, I really bounce around. I usually get samples of things 
and this was a sample in a belief travel kit that I got which is where I got the mini of the cleanser so this is their moisturizing and firming eye cream again I just look for moisture I oh my gosh that's really like my main thing so I just get that under there and this also helps your concealer to not look cakey sometimes that is the reason why you're if you are struggling with that that might be why your concealer looks crusty because you haven't prepped the area under the eye it, especially if you're dry you really need to do that so again I just go in and I use the ring finger because it has the lightest pressure apparently allegedly so um, but yeah that is it and my lashes are looking like this because I have on lash extensions in case you didn't wash wash <laughs> in case you didn't watch my lash extension video I love them I've gotten them redone already a couple times and it is so expensive but it makes me feel so good um, see like I just like rolled out of bed look at me okay well I did shower but look at me <laughs> Okay, I feel snatched. Now, imagine if I got my brows microbladed, like, forget it. I would be on another level. And yeah, I, I'm just like wearing a bra because I put my hair up before I put on my sweater and I was like, well, I guess I'm gonna shoot the video like this because I cannot redo this bun because it like rarely comes out this perfect. So you gotta run with it. So <laughs> anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it answered the questions that you guys had about my routine and yeah let me know if there's anything else you'd like to know I'm gonna leave links to everything I mentioned down below as well as links to my social media please follow me on Instagram if you guys aren't following me yet I really want to get to 10k I'm halfway there and I want real people following me I'm tired of fake accounts <laughs> following me I want you guys on there so we can talk and chat and I love posting on insta stories and everything so for sure I'm putting it out there I'm putting my goal out there so if you guys aren't following me I'll leave the link so you guys can and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye